Hello, I'm Andrew Rash, the technical trainer for DMAG Cranes and Components. In this video, we will show you the bottom block on a DC model chain hoist. We will concentrate on its disassembly and inspection, including the inspection criteria to apply to the hook and its safety latch. When we get to the bottom block at the bottom end of the chain, we want to remind you that the block itself is held together with two socket head cap screws with nuts. Easy to disassemble to inspect the upper part of the hook bearing a nut. The intent is during inspections, because it takes so little time to disassemble this, this is a key area to actually perform a disassembly and look at the internal pieces. We have the complete bottom block, which I'll take apart, and an example of an extremely worn hook with excessive bowl wear that was actually found in the field during an inspection. Remember also to check the safety latch. Because it's a wraparound design, make sure to pull it all the way back to make sure it's not getting caught on the body of the hook. Make sure it closes and the spring returns it to a closed position so that it properly keeps rigging gear in the bowl of the hook. When inspecting hooks, there's a basic rule that can be applied. The 505 rule is what I call it. First, the throat opening cannot stretch more than 5% from its original dimension, up to a maximum allowable quarter inch. This comes directly from the ASME standard B30.10. The second rule to apply for the zero part of the 505 rule is zero degrees of twist allowed from the vertical plane created by the tip of the hook with the body of the hook. Third, the bowl wear cannot exceed more than 5% of the original dimension. In this case, in this example, we've well exceeded that. And this was taken out of service during inspection. The other critical area of a hook is here at the spine make sure that there's no nicks, gouges, or reductions in cross-sectional area because this bears the load. A special case for hooks is a hook found on a chain hoist that has manulift, which is a handle mount at the bottom near the hook for the operator to use with thumb controls. The top of the hook shank is designed with an anti-rotation pin put through it. We find many times this pin had been removed so that the hook would swivel up inside the clamping mechanism for the manual lift. This is improper. This is a critical item to stop that rotation from happening. If this was turning up inside the clamp, you'll be wearing out the bars that lock in the groove as well as the groove itself. So the rotation is no longer allowed on the manual version of chain hoist. Thank you for watching our video on the DC chain hoist bottom block and hook and related information and inspection criteria. Please look for other videos on the DMAG YouTube channel.